Side boosters, landing legs are deployed. And the Falcons have landed. SpaceX launched the world's most powerful rocket today. This is video of the first two boosters landing at a nearby Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The Falcon Heavy is now in space and has launched its payload on an orbit around the sun. The Falcon Heavy is now in space. As, as we said, it, that payload is a cherry red Tesla Roadster on an orbit around the sun. Two. 27 rocket engines fired at once, sending the Falcon Heavy into space and the SpaceX crew into applause. Well, if you could hear all that cheering, it was an outstanding test flight of the Falcon Heavy. The mega rocket combines the power of three SpaceX rockets into one, generating over 5 million pounds of thrust, enough to launch a 737. It's a very big step forward, and we hadn't seen a rocket this powerful uh, since the space shuttle retired uh, back in 2011. SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk spoke with CBS Space Analyst Bill Harwood Monday at the launch pad. I think this rocket's great for, for a lot of reasons. Um, it's something that I think inspires the public. And you could actually send people back to the moon with the Falcon Heavy, with orbital refueling, send people to Mars. The payload on this test launch is Musk's midnight cherry Tesla Roadster with a dummy named Starman. It's headed for an elliptical orbit around the sun that extends as far out as Mars. It could remain in orbit for hundreds of millions of years. Well, the third booster did not make it to the landing ship in the water and instead crashed at sea. Obviously, two out of three isn't bad. That's no. something that was crazy. They stuck to those that. landings like gymnasts. So yeah. those, two, those two boosters is pretty awesome. Yeah, like yeah, sci-fi. You think we'll get to Mars in our lifetime? Uh, you and I? Yeah. Uh, for a lake trip? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Frank and Chris going to Mars. <laughs> I think oh, some people boy. would like for us to take a trip to Mars. Yeah, I think you're right. right.